All right, what's up? I've been playing around with Golang this weekend. Uh, it's not really a new language anymore. It's been out for, I think, three years now. Uh, go, called Go from go some guys at Google, uh, Ken Thompson and Rob Pike and uh, Andrew are working on it. And uh, it's pretty cool, but it takes a little while to get used to because some things are very different than what you may be used to. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use Go to rewrite this little Python script that I have here that makes a request to the Google URL shortener API. We post some JSON to it with a long URL and what we get back is a short URL. So uh, right here in my command prompt I'm calling this Python script here with this long URL. So we hit enter and I added a print statement to the script to print out the JSON response that we get back from the API. So we can see in this response we have three properties. We have a kind ID and long URL. The kind is the API slash what we queried. The ID is actually the short URL and then the long URL is the initial URL that we passed it. Okay. So, now that we know what that data structure looks like, we can jump into Go and start working on this new script. Okay. So, if you're new to Go, um, I'll explain everything. I'm still learning it, so probably what I'm doing here, there's probably better ways to do it. But the first thing we need to do is create a new package at the top of our file, and it should be package main. And then in here we need a func main that gets called when we run this file. So let's add one import, the func package for printing, and let's make sure that everything's set up. So fmt, FMT print f, and we'll just print out the string format with a new line, and we'll do the awesome hello world. Okay, so in Sublime, I use Sublime Text 2 for almost everything. So I have a build set up for this. I can hit Control B and we can see down here in the console it prints it out. If you're not using Sublime, we can go uh, into your terminal. I created this file named URL short.go. So in the command prompt, we can type go, run, and then the file name, and we get that output. Okay, so now that we know this file works, everything's set up, we can start uh, porting over this Python script. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get the long URL from our arguments. So in Go, this is really easy. We just need to import the OS package. And what we'll do is we'll say we have a new variable long URL. And if we use this assignment operator this creates a new variable long URL and assigns it to whatever type we have on the right hand side so we could do we could create this variable two ways we could say uh, var long URL is a string and then long URL equals some string or we can just do it all in one line with long URL that operator and then os.args and we want the last element in this argument list so we'll use lin os.args minus one or get the length and then outside of that the last element so now we created our new variable let's go ahead and trace that out in our console so long url let's save that and let's do this again go run URL short and let's add a URL at the end and we see that that's printed out so we know that works okay so now that we have that let's check our Python script and what we need to do is we need to create a request object make sure it's a post set this header and set the URL and this body of uh, JSON so we need to import the HTTP package from within the net package. 
So in our imports, we'll say net slash HTTP. And now let's create a new request. So um, request. This also returns an error. We'll use our assignment here. So HTTP new request. And now this is all the methods that or all the parameters that we need to pass to create a new HTTP request and go. So our method will be post. Our URL string is this from our Python script. So we'll just copy and paste that. And then our body is actually an IO reader. So we need a, some way to create this uh, JSON object that says long URL equals whatever long URL is and convert that into an IO reader to pass to this new request and go. So to do that we need to go to the bytes package and this will really help us out. So in here we'll say body equals bytes and then there's a new string buffer and this will return an IO reader from whatever string we pass in. So what we need to do is create a formatted string so back to our foom package and then it's s printf and uh, if we use tildes in go that's kind of our unescaped uh, strings okay so in here uh, instead of creating some JSON object like I did here in Python we'll just do the raw string so we need to pass long URL and then have our string placeholder and in our end our JSON object and then here we'll pass long URL that will be substituted inside here okay so now that we have that body uh, we don't have to change that variable name because I named it the same. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, it's complaining about something. Oh, I got this backwards. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now that we have a request, the next thing we need to do is make sure we have the correct content type header added to that request. So in Go, we just say request, get our header collection on this request type, and then there's an add method, which takes a key value pair. So content type, and then our value is application slash JSON. Okay. So now that we have that created, now we need a client to process this request. So client... I believe, uh, yeah, it's just client, and then HTTP client, and that's just an empty type. And now we can do a make this client do the response. So response will also return an error. Client do request. Okay. So let's go ahead and check for this error here. There. We could have an error on this new request, but I'm not too worried about that. If that errors, then this is going to error, so might as well just check it here. Error not equal to nil. Then we want to log this instead of doing a panic. So let's import the log package. And we'll just say log fatal error. All right. So now that we have this response, uh, this response has a body, which is an IO read closer. So we can read from this body, which actually uh, does a stream between the client and the server. And we need to read a byte array out of that. So to do that, we'll have to use the um, IO slash IOUtil IO package. And inside there, we will have our uh, raw, or we'll just call this output. 
we could have an error. I'll put error equals to I O U till um, read all, and then read all takes that reader. So we want response dot body. Okay. And after we've read all from that, we need to call response dot body dot close to close that string. Okay, so now we have a raw byte array of what we're getting back from the Google service. So now we need to marshal that. We could either use regex or some stupid string parsing crap to uh, convert this into something to print out uh, into our console, or we can use the JSON package in Ingo to uh, marshal this to an object or a, a type in Go to use. So we're going to do that. Sorry for, the, for being long winded. So what we need to do is we already know the structure of this. So kind, ID, and long. So we need to create a new type in Go. So type, and we'll call this API response, and this will be a struct. So in this struct, we need those three properties, uh, ID, kind, long URL. But in Go, you need to remember that things that start with a lowercase name are private, uppercase names are exported. So even though the keys in our response are all lowercase, the JSON marshallers, marshallers are smart enough to know what goes where when we do this conversion. So all of these have to be uppercase, so ID, kind, and long URL and they're all strings. All right. So now that we have that, let's import the JSON package which is located in encoding slash JSON. And down here we need to create our uh, var, uh, what do we want to call this, uh, data and that is an API response so we'll just create this empty container here and air equals JSON dot unmarshal and we need to return our raw output we could probably call this output as bytes and then we can call this output and we need to pass the address of that output variable right here okay so now that we have that as long as we don't have an error here so if error not equal nil log fatal error then we should be good to go and this output here should have a property of ID with our short URL okay. so let's go back to the command line Let's run this, go run URL short dot go, pass in our URL. Um, I've got a firewall here, so I need to allow it access. And we made that request to the API and got our shortened URL. So that's how you do it in Go. Um, hope you like this tutorial. Um, I'll be playing around with Go some more, so hopefully I'll have some other videos up doing some more fun things. Let's go. So thanks.